You don't have to just use drafts to capture text. You can also do it in other places using the drafts extension. I'm going to go ahead and open up Safari here, and you can see I've got a paragraph of text selected on a website. And I want to share that to drafts. So I'm going to hit the little sharing button at the bottom of the screen, and you can see there's no drafts extension available, so I need to turn that on. I'll tap the more button, and you can see a list of all my potential extensions, and there's one for drafts right at the top. I'll turn that on and click done, and now draft shows up. So I can go ahead and hit the draft sharing extension, and it just captured that website. And it shows that I've got the website article title, the URL, and the actual text that I selected. I can select an existing draft from my inbox to append or prepend this text or capture it as a new draft. I also have the ability to clean up the text selection right here in the widget before sending it off. I'm going to leave it just as is and now tap the capture button. That just captured that text and added it to drafts. If I leave Safari and go back into drafts, you'll see a new draft was imported. I'll go to my drafts list and you can see there it is. Now I can perform any of the actions available to me in drafts on that text. You can make adjustments to the way that information is captured in the settings by tapping on the settings button and then scrolling down and you can see the web capture template. Drafts also has a Today View widget. To access those widgets, just pull down from the top of the screen and you can see I don't have any installed right now, so I'm going to tap the Edit button and there's a list of all the available applications I have that have widgets. I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus sign next to the Drafts and that installs it. So then I'll tap Done and now I've got my Drafts widget available. You can see it has the three most recent inbox items from my drafts available. If I tap on any one of those, it will take me to that item right in drafts. Going back to the widget, I also have the ability to go straight to my drafts inbox by tapping that button. And going back, I can also create a new draft by hitting the plus icon button. Or I can go and take the clipboard contents to create a new draft. So let me show you that real quick. I'm going to go back into Safari and select some text. And I'll copy that. Now when I pull down the drafts widget and tap on the clipboard, you'll see that I just opened a new draft and put the contents of the clipboard inside of it. Spend a little time with this extension and this widget and you'll get even better at adding new drafts to your iPhone and iPad.